His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive his brother, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the President of the United Arab Emirates, upon his arrival in the country on a fraternal visit to the kingdom. Also present to receive His Highness were his Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Royal Guard Special Force Commander Staff, His Highness Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Royal Court Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, along with several other dignitaries. The Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, along with the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, paid a visit to the headquarters of the Royal Guard. Upon the arrival, His Majesty the King and His Highness the President of the United Arab Emirates were received by the Bahrain Defense Force Commander in Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard Special Force Commander Staff, His Highness Colonel Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of senior officers from the Bahrain Defense Force. At the beginning of the visit, the United Arab Emirates and the Bahrain national anthems were played by the military band. السلام الوطني لدولة الإمارات العربية المتحدة. السلام الملكي البحريني.
After that, the President of the United Arab Emirates shook hands with the brothers of the martyr, Major Abdullah Rashid al naimi who lost his life as a result of a terrorist act while performing his noble national duty alongside four members of the United Arab Emirates Armed Forces during their training mission in Somalia. After that, the UAE president recorded a statement in the official's guest book, which said, I am pleased to visit the headquarters of the Royal Guard, an important institution within Bahrain's national establishment, representing a symbol of Bahrain's defense force strength and its role in achieving security and stability at the national and regional levels. My sincerest wishes for the members of the Royal Guard for continued success and honor. The National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa presented a commemorative gift to the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan on the occasion of the visit. During the visit, the close historical relations between the two countries and their brotherly people were highlighted. His Majesty the King commended the strong and deep fraternal relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates, and the distinguished fraternal cooperation, fruitful coordination, and joint work in all fields which contributes to the development and prosperity of both countries and their brotherly people. He expressed his appreciation for the fruitful efforts made by the National Security Advisor Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General His Highness, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in enhancing the combat capabilities that characterize the Royal Guard and thanked all the brave members of the Royal Guard for their high efficiency and high morale in fulfilling their noble national duties, standing hand in hand with their 
Brave Brothers in the Defense Force of Bahrain. The UAE President, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, expressed his happiness with the visit to the Royal Guard and his appreciation for all its brave men, praising their professionalism and high efficiency. He also commended the combat capabilities and the advanced level reached by Bahrain Defense Force under the leadership of His Majesty the King, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. He prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect both countries and their brotherly people and to grant them goodness, prosperity and progress. At the end of the visit, His Majesty the King bid farewell to his esteemed guest with the same warmth and welcome with which he was received. National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Lieutenant General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, for this blessed historic visit to the Royal Guard. He conveyed his sincere welcome and appreciation, as well as those of all members of the Royal Guard, for His Highness's visit. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa hosted a lunch banquet in honor of the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and his accompanying delegation on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. The banquet was attended by His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of their Highnesses and Excellencies. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to bid farewell to the President of the United Arab Emirates, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan, upon his departure following a visit to the Kingdom. Also present were His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and a number of their Highnesses and Excellencies. The existing relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates are characterized by numerous advantages that have made them a distinguished model, starting from their rich history and continuing to their prosperous present. Over the course of many years, Bahraini-Emirati relations have evolved and expanded, embodying flourishing collaboration between the two brotherly countries across various domains. This close association is rooted in their political significance and exceptional regional and international geographical positioning, which have facilitated reciprocal visits at the highest levels of leadership and among senior officials. Both countries have embraced a rational and well-balanced foreign policy approach, establishing themselves as prominent examples within the region. They consistently prioritize supporting and advocating for Gulf, Arab and Islamic causes, drawing upon their active memberships and influential roles within organizations such as the Gulf Cooperation Council, the Arab League, 
the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, the United Nations and other regional entities. Bahrain and the UAE have played an active diplomatic role in promoting peace and fostering principles of coexistence and human solidarity within the region. The ongoing coordination and steadfast collaboration between the two countries contributed to supporting developmental endeavors for the benefit of their respective people, as well as achieving regional and international stability. Bahraini-Emirati relations stand as a cornerstone of Gulf unity, as both leaderships strive to fortify unity and cooperation while building upon the accomplishments attained throughout the years. Within the framework of the royal patronage enjoyed by equestrian sports in the kingdom from His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and in the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Honorary President of the Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the His Majesty the King's International Endurance Cup Racing Festival was launched at the Bahrain International Endurance Village by organizing a 120 kilometer race for junior and youth riders amid a large participation from riders and stables. His Highness Sheikh Nasser witnessed the stages of the race and was keen to guide the riders to provide their best levels. The stages of the race witnessed strong competition between the participants who presented the best levels in an effort to finish the race successfully. At the conclusion of the race, the President of Brief, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, crowned the winners. The Bahrain International Endurance Village will witness the start of the great race for the Cup of His Majesty the King for a distance of 160 kilometers with wide participation from stables and riders. The Federation will also organize a private stables race for a distance of 120 kilometers. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met with a number of child cancer patients on the occasion of International Childhood Cancer Day, which falls on February the 15th of every year, and within the SMILE initiative. His Highness Sheikh Khalid fulfilled the children's wishes with the support of GFH Financial Group and Khaliji Bank in cooperation with the Future Society for Youth. The Chief Executive Officer of Khaliji Bank, Sattam Al Qasaybi, and the Chief Operating Officer of GFH Financial Group, Salah Sharif, were present. His Highness presented the Smile Initiative heroes with gifts which brought joy to their hearts. He also exchanged friendly talks with them 
and praised their patients' determination and fight against the cancer disease, stressing that they have the support of everyone. His Highness Sheikh Khalid praised the prominent role played by the private sector in supporting the charitable and humanitarian work and supporting government efforts in providing support and care to the patients. He hailed the support of the GFH Financial Group and Khaliji Bank, stressing the importance of permanent cooperation with all the civil society institutions to fulfill its humanitarian role through its numerous programs. His Highness pointed out that the commemoration of the International Childhood Cancer Day should constitute an incentive to provide more support to sick children and their families and to raise the level of awareness about combating cancer, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect the children from every disease and to grant them a quick recovery. The Smile Initiative heroes and their parents expressed their deep gratitude for His Highness's generous gesture which held a positive impact on them. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the third edition of the Folk Poetry Festival held by the Folk Poetry Society under His Highness's patronage to mark the 23rd anniversary of the National Action Charter. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman highlighted that every anniversary of the National Action Charter provides a moment for Bahrainis to recognize the kingdom's wide ranging national achievements spearheaded by His Majesty the King, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman highlighted Bahraini citizens' commitment to celebrating the kingdom's significant milestones, adding that their commitment has played a vital role in bolstering the values of loyalty and patriotism and serves as a motivation to further the kingdom's achievements. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman highlighted the importance of preserving poetry and literature as they are cultural tools that build connections with people across the world. His Highness noted the importance of promoting folk poetry as an integral part of the kingdom's identity. His Highness expressed his appreciation to the Folk Poetry Society for their continued commitment to organizing the annual festival as part of the Kingdom of Bahrain's celebrations of the National Action Charter anniversary. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman noted the Folk Poetry Society's efforts in supporting folk poetry in the kingdom. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman also extended his appreciation to the poets participating in the festival from the Kingdom of Bahrain and abroad. For his part, the chairman of the Folk Poetry Society, Sheikh Khaled bin Isa Al Khalifa, noted that His Highness's patronage of the festival reflects his support for folk poetry in Bahrain, serving as an encouragement for poets and enthusiasts of literature and heritage. Sheikh Khaled added that His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman is a role model for the younger generation who value the kingdom's heritage, adding that His Highness's passion for traditional and cultural activities such as horse riding, camel racing, hunting and poetry reflects the region's rich traditional heritage. His Sheikh Khalid noted that the society follows the vision of His Majesty the King and the directives of His Royal Highness to enhance the kingdom of Bahrain's global position in the cultural and literally literature fields. A number of senior officials also attended the event. A delegation from the Shura Council participated in the Parliamentary Conference of South-South Cooperation held in Rabat, Morocco.
Second Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Dr. Jihad Abdullah Al Fadl, affirmed Bahrain's commitment to its firm and permanent diplomatic stance in stimulating and supporting international action and cooperation through launching a number of cooperation projects in various countries, with the aim of benefiting from the Kingdom's pioneering experiences in democratic and development practices. The Ministry of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture won first place in the category of social responsibility at the Kuwait Creativity Award 2023 for its participation under the title Innovation and Social Responsibility in Municipal and Agricultural Work in the Kingdom of Bahrain, a forestation plan as a model. On this occasion, the Minister of Municipalities and Agriculture, Engineer Wael, Bin Nasser Al Mubarak affirmed that this achievement reflects the attention given to municipal and agricultural work by His Majesty the King and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He praised the continuous follow up of the Deputy Prime Minister, Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure, to the Ministry's developmental plans and projects, including the Afforestation Plan. The Minister also commended the efforts of the Ministry's staff in achieving the desired aspirations to enhance this important sector. The Under Secretary of Municipalities Affairs at the Ministry of Municipalities and Agriculture, Engineer Sheikh Mohammed bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received the award shield which crowned the efforts made in implementing the National Afforestation Plan at the ceremony held in Kuwait. He affirmed that it is the result of the work of the various personnel of the ministry and its partners in the public and private sectors, civil societies, as well as those responsible for the Afforestation Plan. The National Space Science Agency celebrated its 10th anniversary of its founding, achieving a variety of goals that confirmed its distinction and its relentless endeavors to implement the vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The anniversary comes at a time when the agency is witnessing a prominent activity at the local, regional and international levels, thanks to the national experience in the field of space sciences, through the young national competencies that have been scientifically qualified in institutions of higher education and specialized scientific research and the refinement of their skills in the most prominent space laboratories until they won the highest degrees and achieved honorable results which enabled them to reap various awards. The Coast Guard Command continues its inspection and awareness campaigns in various marine and coastal areas as part of its efforts to implement law and order and address maritime violations in the territorial waters of the Kingdom of Bahrain in cooperation with the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs and the Labor Market Regulatory Authority. The campaigns aim to ensure the extent of commitment and that sailors and fishermen are aware of the laws and decisions regulating fishing and the validity of marine fishing licenses of various types of vessels and ensures the availability of marine safety tools. The Coast Guard leadership confirmed the continued implementation of inspection and awareness campaigns, noting the necessity of adhering to the regulations and laws in order to preserve the marine environmental and wildlife health. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Abdel Hakim Al Shimmari Group holds the fourth cycling championship. The event comes within the organization and supervision of the Bahrain Cycling Association and will be held on February the 24th in Zalak. During a press conference, the President of the Bahrain Cycling Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, thanked a Shimmeri group holding for the continued organization of this event for the fourth year in a row and all parties, individuals and companies supporting the championship. For his part, the chairman of the board of directors of a Shimmeri group holding, Mr. Abdel Hakim Shimmeri, thanked His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for the championship, stressing the group's commitment to supporting all sporting activities in the kingdom within the community partnership between the private sector and the sports sector. Members of the Association of the Tennis Professionals have indicated that the Ministry of Interior Challenger Tennis Tournament is one of the top five tournaments worldwide in 2023. This reflects the significant development in the organization of the tournament, providing a fantastic opportunity and experience for players and spectators. The third edition of the Global ATP Challenger Tennis Tournament in Bahrain represents a successful sports model that reflects the level of advancement of the organizing team 
With each edition of the tournament, the organization becomes more precise and harmonious between the organizers and officials, indicating continuous development in tournament management. The tournament's success for the third consecutive year in terms of preparation and meticulous organization, as well as providing all the means to host and organize this international sporting event, has contributed to attracting global players and gaining the attention of institutions and sports bodies towards the Ministry of Interior Challenger Tennis Tournament. The third year in a row that I'm here and I can see uh, the improvement in many things uh, thanks to the efforts of the Ministry of Interior, of all the organizers and also in the, uh, on the level of officiating because part of my responsibilities is to evaluate and oversee the officials and we have a very good team of international officials uh, coming from Egypt, uh, Italy, France, Germany and I'm very happy to uh, say that between the chair empires we have Ahmed Al Hawaj, the top uh, Bahraini official uh, uh, who worked very well. We all have done very well. Uh, there were no major issues, uh, just normal uh, course of uh, the tournament. And I'm very happy uh, to see this uh, good level of uh, officials. And inshallah, we'll. Uh, in the future we'll work together to improve it even further. The President of the Arab Parliament, Adel Al Asumi, delivered a speech at the opening of the Parliamentary Conference for South-South Cooperation. He called for the launch of programs and projects with a common regional dimension aimed at achieving greater integration between Arab African and Latin American countries. Al Asumi stressed the Arab Parliament's keenness to build bridges of communication and rapprochement in light of the transformation taking place in the global system, which requires strengthening the solidarity in order to defend just causes and protect the common interests.